What's up guys, welcome to the unofficial patch notes for August 29th and 31st, 2017, graciously provided by Mike Tendy over on the War Thunder Reddit. Took me a little while to get to this because I was previously preoccupied last couple of days, but without further ado, let's begin. Firstly, they have changed the light tank spawn costs for tier, well, rank 3 and higher light tanks. Specifically, the M24 Chaffee, the M24 Thunder League Chaffee, the Japanese Chaffee, the PT-76, all four of these tanks have had their spawn point reduction by 50%, which I think is pretty good. The M24 Chaffees just aren't very good, in my own opinion. At least in RB and Arcade, they're okay in Sim, but all in all, I'd rather be driving something else for where it sits, because it has the same gun as a Sherman, and it's just overall about comparable to a Sherman. And let's just not talk about the PT-76. That thing... It was good when it had heat FS, but now it's kind of garbage, so I can see why they've changed it by 50% for these ones. Then we've got a 25% reduction to the following vehicles. The M41A1 Walker Bulldog, the T92, the RU251, the Type 62, the M41 Japanese, the M551 Sheridan, and the Object 906. Now, for these tanks, they're all just kind of meh. The main reason people have lowered them is because all in all, except for the RU251 and probably the Object 906, they're not particularly viable in their BR bracket. I've just been grinding through the Type 62, and I'm lucky if I go even with it. I think my KD is something like 112 to 120 something at the time of this post. And the reason behind it is, most of these tanks don't have a gun that can kill what they see frontally. The exceptions being the Sheridan, the Object 906, and the RU251. Effectively, I mean. So, for example, in my Type 62, if I run around a corner and I see a Tiger 2, I'm just like, well, fuck my life. You know, I just like Papa Roach just starts blaring. Because I can't kill that thing frontally. My Heat FS shell is just garbage. And odds are I'm not going to have it loaded at the time. So I'm going to have about 159 mils a pen, which is going to do jack shit. So, all in all, I like this change. It means I have more incentive to bring out a light tank as a secondary, and it stops people getting stuck with tank hunting SPAAs if they don't want to use that. The second change is to World War II mode. It appears that uh, they have created the option for battle groups. So now if you're playing World War II mode, you can have a five-man squad. The final change for August 29th was to the Nikki, or the N1K1 Kyofu, which has now got the ability to take off from water again. As if I recall correctly, it couldn't actually achieve the speed, and it would end up nosing over and exploding. So this is an all-around good change for the N1K1. All in all, the big change here was the light tanks. Moving on to the 2nd, for the 31st, they've added new text regarding the Hurricane Mark 1 L. Currently in game, it is called the Hurricane Mark 1 Late in the Files, so this dictates that we may be getting a new variant of the Hurricane Mark 1, just like we got with the Flakwolf 190A5 a couple of patches back. The next two changes regard Battle Royale, it's to the Advance on the Rhine map and the Abandoned Factory map. Both variants have had a lot more cover added to stop people just quick scoping across map and spawn killing. Next, they've added personal unlocks, which currently we do not know what that is, but it has been added. I'm assuming it may have something to do with the recently announced war bond changes, but we'll have to see. And finally, they have added a new file for a game mode called Wing Ball, which, as is stated, in the Wing Ball mission, players need to pick up the ball in the center of the map and fly it through one of the two enemy waypoints. A goal to the end waypoint will bring two points or more, no, two times more points. So basically, it looks like Quidditch. So you grab the ball in the mid, you have to throw it through a series of hoops, and you get points scored by the, uh, the hoop you fling it through, with the furthest point being worth more. This sounds somewhat interesting. I'll have to see what they add for the actual aircraft for this, but all in all, that sounds um, intriguing. If it pops up in an event, I might give it a try. So all in all, the big thing is the light tank changes. Uh, they've ch reduced cost on uh, basically the more crappy light tanks, and uh, for some reason the IU-251. Maybe they're going to up-tier the RU-251 in the coming uh, rank 6, but we'll have to see. And just to throw in one last thing, at the time of doing this video, they just announced a new map, Emperor's Garden, which appears to be a sort of an arcade-style map where it's pretty compacted, and it's centered around this large pagoda. So, from the looks of the 3D vision, it's basically, this is the center point of the map, and you can sort of rove in the outfields, and there must be like a town or two out there. If anything, it reminds me sort of like the um, Mamansk maps, you know, where they have a large town in the middle and just wilderness around it, and only idiots go mid, unless you're in like something like the T-92, uh, no, the T-95, in which case you rush mid and just pray to God no one has heat FS, or Hesh. 
So all in all, it's just another fucking arcade map. Probably going to be about the same size as, um, what's it called? Abandoned Factory, as I call it, Zaphod 311 from Battlefield 4. Either way, like, comment, do all that good stuff down below. Are you happy they've reduced spawn points for light tanks and all that stuff? Either way, keep on gaming and have a good one.